I've got the stockings, you guys, and they've been out hanging on my mantle for quite a while, and I'm excited to fill them up with goodies. In today's video, I'm gonna show you what I'm putting inside of our stockings for my kids. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet. It's stocking stuffing time, and I'm gonna show you what I'm putting inside ours for my kids. And I don't think everything's gonna fit inside of these, but I have a couple solutions that I'm gonna talk about as I go through the video. So let's get started. Can I tell you guys my secret? My secret is that I like to hoard stuff throughout the year and hold it for stockings. I think that is one of the best ideas ever. I'm trying to find all the candy here. One of the best ideas ever that somebody told me to do throughout the year, and I still do it. And then come Christmas time, I just kind of supplement. So here I have our treats. Oh, there's some more treats here too. Found some more in the pile. All of these are from Dollar Tree. Um, we have the fluffy snow snowballs, cotton candy. So I have two kids, so we're doing um, doubles on everything. We have frosty nerds. Um, they love the nerds, you guys. And then we got the hot chocolate bombs, which some people are saying are not that great, but you know what? It's hot chocolate. My kids don't care. So just something fun. Then I have the Kinder Joy eggs, which they still like for some reason. I'm not entirely sure. These came from Target. So there's a four pack. So I just did divide them up between them and just makes it real easy that way. From Five Below, if you are on my Instagram, you already know that Five Below has a zillion and a half different sensory things right now. And they're all under $5. So it's a really good place to get them. I would definitely recommend checking out your Five Below. These are sensory toy suction pals. So there's two in here and they come in all kinds of different colors. So I've got a big one in blue and a big one in red and a little one in blue and a little one in red because my kids like blue and red. So I thought that'd be perfect. So these actually suction like suction cups to windows and to each other. They're very similar. You remember those baby toys? Was it squigs? Squizzles? Squigs? Something like that? Somebody remind me what that's called. Very similar, but they are stretchy suction pals. So they stretch, they pop, and they stick, and they come two to a pack for $5. So I got two of those. These are definitely not going to fit in their stocking. So let me know what you think. Do you think I should take them out of the box, or do you think I should just set them outside of their stockings? That's usually what I do. So my two tricks are either to just take it outside of the box and get rid of it because this will take up little room in the stocking in the side or I'll set them out really nice so that when they wake up Christmas morning they can just go and play with it. Little things like this I don't tend to wrap because they're just kind of little doodads. Let me know your opinion. Which would you do or which would you recommend I do? I'll show you everything else we have in stock too but I like that they come in these really oops, really nice boxes though. It makes a perfect gift. Since we're talking about five below I'm also going to point out these guys. These are little hand fidgets. I wish I could open them and show you. Um, they're five dollars each and they come in so many different colors. These are so much more expensive on Amazon, but the kids absolutely love them. Basically, they kind of turn inside each other, I guess is what it's called. Um, this brand is called Kamigami, but there's another name for them. I don't know that name, but this one has like a little red and orange and yellow, and this one has kind of like ocean of waves on them. Definitely um, a different type of fidget that I haven't shown you guys before, and I highly recommend and like. From Daiso Japan, which is a dollar Japanese dollar store, I got some origami paper. They have been doing origami like crazy and going going through the paper. They just watch YouTube tutorials. So over at Daiso, they actually had them in the Christmas theme. So each little sheet has different Christmas theme on them and there's two different styles. So I got one for each of them. They'll probably share and they can do some origami. That's Christmas theme paper. From Dollar Tree, I found these months ago in the toy section and they are rainbow squish balls and they pop right back up. Now a whole bunch of little girls were playing around with them in the aisle or else I probably wouldn't have noticed them, but I'm really excited about them because they are so pretty in rainbow and I love that they squish and pop right back up. So it's more like a fidget toy, sensory toy. I think they might even bounce. I'm not sure maybe what are they called called stretch rainbow ball and so this is before the price increase so they were both a dollar each thought these were great also from dollar tree these are called finders keepers and these were a last minute find that i saw at the cash register and i kind of bought the reason why i bought it is because this little guy on here the panda so this is very similar to those kinder joy eggs how there's candy and a little toy or whatever inside very very similar concept so that it says there's hazelnut vanilla flavored cream Cream, and inside there's candy and toy surprise in the egg. And this one has a picture of a panda. So I'm guessing there's a panda in that one. And then this one has a picture of a bunny. Now they had about six or seven different styles. I don't know if the chocolate's good. I don't know if the toy's good. If you have tried these because you saw them at Dollar Tree, I'd love to know. But I thought, why not? Let's just see and what they're all about. Of course, my daughter loves pandas. So that worked out really well. Also surprise toy find were these squishy pals. These were also by the register as well. So again, they like the little squishy stuff. They're really into that right now. And so this one kind of has a rhinoceros and maybe is that a chick or bunny? 
I'm not 100% sure. They come two to a package. And then this one has, I think, an elephant and a chick. And they just squeeze and they have that squishy feel. And they just love them. I don't know. I really wanted the koala for my other daughter, but I couldn't find the koala. If you see a koala, let me know. I need a koala. This is a really fun one, you guys. It's called Doodle Top. And so basically there's a pin on the bottom and you spin it and it will create kind of a doodle as it draws. We have rolls of that plank, blank white paper that this would be perfect on. And there's two of them that came in the pack. This actually came from Amazon. I'll have to link it down below for you guys. And um, the colors are just what I got. I wasn't able to pick the colors. So I imagine they come in a lot, but I got it because it was a two pack. They do sell them in single packs, but I thought that'd be really cool because there's two of them and it just worked out perfectly. I'm really curious to see how this works. I actually saw this in another store that was far more expensive than Amazon. So I ended up getting it off of Amazon and we're going to try that out. Watch on my Instagram. I'll try to um, remember to film that on Christmas morning. Dollar Tree find for sticky hand. My eight-year-old loves sticky hands, but they're usually the really small ones. This one's massive. And Dollar Tree had them all sorts of different colors. So I got the colors she likes. And I know I'm probably going to regret this later having gotten this, but you know, now these things last for a day or two and then they're done. So we have the major blue sticky hand. And then I also got her some space stickers because she loves space. And aren't these planets just the absolute cutest? They all have little smiley faces on them and eyes. She's going to really like those. For my older daughter, my 10 year old, I got her some um, that special where you buy five for $10 or whatever from Ulta. It's a thing that they do every year. So we have the winter berry chapstick. And then I got her her own little nail file nail clippers there's like little polka dots on there and then this has some little glitter and then some lip gloss in the bottom I believe and it's a little star shape it's just kind of a cute thing also in that deal came two lotions I mean you got to pick what you wanted so I picked two lotions one for each of them they'll probably end up sharing is probably what's going to happen so this one is sugar and cookie or sugar cookie and winter berry just hand lotions for them sometimes I like to put these in their backpacks to keep when it gets dry when their skin gets dry outside but all of this was kind of a package deal you just got to pick which ones you want and they're really cute too and they actually do this bargain in store i bought mine online but you can do it on store this one is a shared gift to our shared stocking stuffer that i'll probably just set outside their stockings uno all wild now i posted about this over on instagram and asked you guys if anybody played it and um, a couple of you said you had but a lot of people said no apparently it's a really new version so it's all wild cards inside which will be a very interesting game i actually remember doing this as a kid like putting a lot of wilds or getting wilds from two decks or whatever so we gave a couple of these for our classroom gifts they had a gift exchange in school so i snuck an extra one for them to actually have because they were really excited about that and they like regular uno too this one i found on walmart when also try and find it on amazon down below for you guys if you want to score one of these because it's just a really affordable option for a gift now i can't believe i found these <laughs> pokemon cards both of them are into pokemon however it's very difficult to find the cards now I don't know if you realize this. So I've been checking and checking and checking every time I go to Walmart, every time I go to Target and lo and behold, I went and they had a fully stocked rack. So I just got two for each of them and I don't know Pokemon at all. I only know a couple of the characters. I don't know the differences between these cards. I don't know what all of this means. I know, I know, I know I probably should, but I don't, but I got two packages for each of them. So very happy about that. And from Bath and Body Works, let's not forget about the cute little hand sanitizers that they bring out every single year. I got these on some deal. I don't even remember what it was, but we have the Christmas morning mimosa. We have the ice cinnamon rolls. This one is the winter candy apple. And we have Tis the Season. Now, I bought these online, so I didn't smell them. So I'm hoping that they're good since they're all part of their holiday line. But once again, great for their backpacks because they always are having to clean their hands, especially at school. So definitely a great gift to have and kind of fun with all the Christmas characters on them. From Claire's, I found some really cool panda stuff. This is actually a coin purse on a slap bracelet. And then I have one in a kitty cat too. You can see how it curls up. So you would wear it on your wrist and you can have your coin purse there. So a lot of times they have to take money to school for things or they want to buy extra things or we go to Legoland and they need something to hold it. So this is a great option to a wallet because it's always going to be there on your wrist in the form of that slap bracelet. So I thought those were kind of cool. 
cool and they're like a little soft and plushy. This one has see-through, which I don't really like. This one's not, but you know, the options were kind of limited, so it is what it is. And also for my panda lover at Claire's, we have this little panda lip smacker, and then we have a panda notebook diary with the key, and then some panda headphone case. So she uses this at school, so she'll be able to put her headphones inside of there for school and have them with her. So lots of things did come from the dollar store, so I'm gonna put another video up here if you didn't see it, my Dollar Tree shop with me. I think you should go back and check it out. I'll see you guys over there. Make sure to subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.